One evening, Frank and Daylight had just finished their night duty, and now they're on their way back to the shed to get some rest. When, when both of them arrive at the sheds, they notice Rosie and Nigel were there. Ah, huh, Rosie, what a surprise. I never expect you to be here. Oh, uh, um, I just came here just just because the the shed area is a bit full and because Juno and Titan were over there, so, so I sleep here. Ah, oh, good. Say, Nigel, you know any story you got to think about? Hmm, I think I know one. You know that one, Rosie? Oh, yes, I remember that one. Wait, what story? Don't you know? Back when I used to look her, first came to the yard area and meet her, as well as the others, it was actually good. And there's also a funny incident too. I can't re I can't really remember. Me too. S really? Said Nigel. And here's the story. And so this is the story about Nigel, Rosie, and about the yards area back then. Uh, almost a year ago, back in the yards, Nashville Yards was very busy. Lo lots of engines have been working hard. Mostly the tank engines have been overworked. But but some of us are really glad that we had that we had Philip that day. But unfortunately, we still need more help. And that is when the fast controller got an got engine to help out. And that was and that was the day when we met Ryan. One day, I was enjoying a lovely rest at the yards on the siding when well, when Nigel came up. I was surprised to meet him. When the fat controller came up to me, Rosie, this is Nigel. You never know much of him. He only just arrived here for only eight months ago, so I hope you make him welcome to the yards. He hasn't been much to come to the yard, but he did hurt from many engines to be to come to come this area. And it's the final time he did come. Hope you make him a good welcome. Oh, <laughs> uh, hi, uh. N Nigel? Hello there, Rosie. My I say, Thomas told me all about you. Oh, really? Oh, great. Yes, I did hear that you got a, recently got a new coat of paint. I'm excited to like it. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Nigel. Sure, want to show? I'm going to show you around. Lead the way, Rosie. At first, it was a bit, a bit difficult. But, but then in the last few uh, hours, we became good friends. Nigel was a much more bigger and stronger engine than the rest of us, so he managed to do the jobs and marshal trains twice as fast. <laughs> Whoa! What was that? There you go, Gordon. Your train is ready. Wow, uh, Nigel, uh, that was quick. That beat your help. Whoa! That was even quick. Uh, see you later, Nigel. I must say, you are very useful. You're twice as fast as any other tank engine. Thanks, Duck. I, I started to like working here. Ah, good. But please be careful with Charlie. Even though he's a, like an ordinary tank engine like the rest of us, but he can be a bit of a joker. So take your best to try not to be, <clears throat> be rude to him. We'll soon settle this, said Nigel. One day, on that exact day, Nigel was ready resting when Charlie came bumping up. Hello there, you must be the new engine. Um, I only knew for only eight months ago. Besides, uh, you must be Charlie, I must, I must say. Yes, I heard, I heard that Thomas say that you are really weird. Of course I'm weird. Ah, you started to meet Charlie, do you? Oh, you are starting to make new friends with her, do you? What? What, what are you talking about, Charlie? What? Because you guys have been seen talking a lot. They are like you almost on a relationship. Ah. <laughs> I'm a serious man. Come on. Let's get... Come on. You guys really talk a lot. Like, like could be all the romantic. <laughs> oh my god. Just get the hell out of here. Alright then. Whoa. I never thought you managed to get him away that quickly. Yeah. Uh, that's what I had a bit of a learning to do, so... Never mind, but that, let's start working, do you? 
Oh, yes. And, and see, this is how I marshal those trucks very smoothly. He said, he said to the, to some of the engines. Wow, amazing. Just then, Henry came in. Oh, good morning, everybody. Oh, good morning, H Henry. Is that the, is that the tanker train? Yes. I want you to marshal, eat, marshal the train into place. Would you mind? Oh, no problem, Henry. I'll get to work right away. Don't worry, Henry. Don't worry, Henry. I'll do the job. Uh, Charlie, are you sure you won't do it? Oh, don't worry, I'll be fine. Besides, I can show him that I can be better than him. What's going to this time? Huh? Let him be. Let him get into trouble. I'd rather do all something else. See you guys later. See ya. Be careful, Charlie, said Henry. I would be better to separate the fuel or get from the remaining tankers. Don't worry, Henry. I know what I'm doing. Suit yourself. Right, let's get this train started. But Charlie, however, was still got planning up to no good. The tankers were only just close by, and Harvey noticed that uh, that Charlie was coming coming towards them at high speed. Walk out, Charlie! Said Harvey, but it was too late. He bumped the tankers really hard, sending most of it flying all down the line. Don't worry, I'll stop it, said Rosie. But later it got worse. The brake van came off the rails, and the rest of the tankers came off the rails too. Now Rosie was stuck. Worse still, sparks her from her brake, from the from her brakes, ignited the fuel right in front of her. Now she's surrounded. Help! cried Rosie. I'm stuck. Don't worry, I'll help you, cried Thomas, who came over. No, said Harvey, you might get a situation too. As he was right, the blaze began to uh, slowly begin to rise, and Rosie couldn't, Rosie started screaming in fright. Belle quickly arrived at the scene, and couldn't believe it. Oh dear, this going to be a bit of a muddle. How are we going to get part, going to get her out? I'll do it. Nigel, I can definitely do this. Besides, I usually bump trucks really high, even though they are bust into flames. Trust me, watch this. But uh, good luck with that. Oh, don't worry about me. Here goes nothing. Rosie knew that Nigel hanged straight towards him. She shut her eyes and hoped for the best. She got the tankers out of the way, forcing them out of it, and delivery just pushed them over onto the siding in spite of they're still on fire. Don't worry, Rosie. Hold on tight. Nigel pulled her out to safety. Oh, huh. well, that's quick. I'll pull out the place. Fiery Flynn to the rescue! Oh, thanks, Sir Nigel. You're welcome, Rosie. Glad to help a friend. Huh. It looks a little bit embarrassing to say. <laughs> Never mind, Thomas. Fortunately, Bell and Flynn managed to tackle the blaze, and then Henry and Edward arrived with Rocky and the Breakdown Gang to help to clean up the mess. The fat controller arrived on board Philip. He had we he had heard them heard the ready and keen to see them see everyone's alright. Well then you Nigel, you did simply save Rosie from her life. She, he he did absolutely so brave. What a good engine he was. Yeah. I couldn't believe he managed to just managed to bump those uh, flaming trucks out of the way and save her life. And it nearly caused an explosion. Ah, thanks, guys. Nigel, I'm very proud of you. You have done the most horrific action I ever seen from any engine who ever done it. You're not a really useful engine. You are a really useful, brave engine. I'm glad to have you here in the yards. Maybe in future you can work here more often. Thanks, sir. But I rather prefer working on the main line for some time. Yes, sure. But I would like to come here more often, and to see Rosie, and you all. And all the engines whistled and cheered for Nigel. That's a very interesting story, said Daylight. Ag agreed, said Frank. What happened to Charlie after that? Well, said, Ro said Rosie. After the incident, the fat control has been stern and worse to Charlie. You'll be spending the next... Three months in in here, he said, and you should be ashamed of yourself. You could have seriously injured someone with your carelessness. I'm sorry, sir, 
said Charlie, and he indeed felt very silly. Oh, uh, okay then. And so that's the end of the story, said Nigel. You like it? I love it, me too. Yes, it was. It's great to have you here, Rosie. Besides, I could, we could use more company. <laughs> and soon they were all asleep.